This week, some of the biggest farmers in the country are making their way to Chicago for the annual Top Producer Seminar. As is customary each year at that event, our cousins over at Top Producer Magazine select a Top Producer of the Year. The finalists for this year's top honor are John Carroll of Carthage, Illinois. We met him yesterday, Luke Brubaker from Mount Joy, Pennsylvania, and Dave Nelson of Fort Dodge, Iowa. This morning, we continue our finalist profiles with a trip to the Keystone State and Brubaker Farms. Driving by Brubaker Farms, it's easy to miss what makes this operation unique. Sure, they milk 950 cows, have excellent herd management practices while raising nearly 800 head of replacement stock, and they keep their equipment in good operating order. But what you might miss from that windshield view is the farm with nearly 300 years of history. I was born in this house, this room that I'm sitting in where my office is right now, this used to be the butcher house. Growing up on the farm prepared him to take over in the 1960s. When my father retired, I bought his cows. He had 18 cows, and from there we went forward. Luke teamed up with his brother, growing the dairy to 200 cows. When his sons returned from college in the 90s, the operation grew again. When my boys came home from college, they thought we should grow from about 200 cows to 400 cows, and uh, it seemed like that's where the uh, profitability part could start. Over the next few years, the Brubakers added barns, added farms, and increased the herd, arriving at today's production levels. Beyond milking, the family farms 1,500 acres and finishes roughly 250,000 broilers every year for Tyson Foods. About five years ago, the team started looking for other ways to make money that didn't include adding more mouths to feed and cows to milk. The solution came in the other direction, from cow power. We collect uh, the, the fresh milking cow manure from about 725 cows on this farm, plus about 500 heifers worth of manure in another free stall barn. Uh, inside this, under the cover, we maintain 100 degree temperature and we capture the methane gas coming up and we pipe it underground over to our engine building. And on most days, that generator runs at full speed, creating 200 kilowatts an hour, 24 hours a day. Most of that electricity is sold back to the local power company. The dairy uses about 3% of its self-created power to run lights, pumps, and other peripherals. Even excess heat is captured. That success led the team to look for other bright spots in the power creation world. With so many barns and so much square footage on the roof, solar power was a logical next step. The Brubakers also offer public tours of their operation and have played host to international visitors interested in learning about the farm's cutting edge technology. There's a lot of history to this farm and so we want this farm to go down in history now as uh, teaching people about agriculture and farms. From humble beginnings at the birth of our nation to today's 900 milkers and community power plant, the Brubaker farm is poised to make a major impact on the future of the industry all from their historic home in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. You may remember Luke Brubaker and his family. We profiled them in 2011 when his operation was named Innovative Dairy Farm of the Year. Tomorrow, we'll meet the third finalist, Dave Nelson. Stick around for that, but up next, food and your family.